question 12 says in a simple LR circuit shown below switch S is closed at T equal to 0 then find the total charge which passes through the battery in two time constants the four options are given let's find the total charge which passes first of all the time constant for the circuit is tau equal to L by R we know that when the current starts flowing at t equal to 0 the expression of current will be I is equal to E by R into 1 minus E to the power minus T by tau this is the expression for current and this is also dq by dt so which means the total charge if you want to find what is the total charge that flows it is equal to e by r into integral 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau dt 0 to 2 tau remember tau has value l by r Solving, we will find it is equal to E L by R square into E square plus 1 by E square, which is matching with option B. So, option B is correct. Let us go to the next question now. Question 13 says, in a region of space, a radial magnetic field is established. Flux density B, which varies with distance R from origin of coordinate system, as B is equal to B naught by R square, B naught is positive constant and R is the distance from origin. A small conducting ring of radius A is placed parallel to the YZ plane with its center at point X comma 0 comma 0. Find the flux linked with the ring. So, this is simply about finding the magnetic flux through the ring. The situation has been described. Just to make it clear, I just draw a diagram it's something like this let's say this is the x-axis well in this question we have to find the flux through this ring center of the ring has distance x and uh, let's say the magnetic field line start from here and they are radial let's consider a ring of radius t and width dt Okay, so the flux through this ring, right? This ring is an element of radius t and width dt. So d phi will be, and let's say every point of this ring is at distance r from O. So the magnetic field is B naught upon r square area of this element that we have taken is 2 pi t dt and since the field lines are not normal to this so we have to take a factor of cos theta which is again equal to b naught by r square into 2 pi t dt the cos theta will be equal to x upon r we need to integrate it the t will vary from 0 to a the radius of the ring so the phi is equal to b naught into 2 pi x x will be a constant throughout integral of t dt by r q now the interesting part is this that r square is equal to x square plus t square which means r dr equals t dt so we can replace t dt by r dr and the integral will then become b naught into 2 pi x dr by r square the value of r goes from x to this point it will be under root of x square plus a square. Solving 
we will find this is equal to b naught into 2 pi x multiplied by 1 upon x minus 1 upon under root a square plus x square which matches with option A. So, option A is correct. Let us go to the next question now. Question 14 says, a glass hemisphere mu equal to 1.5 has a radius of curvature 16 centimeter. A small object O is located on its axis halfway between the plane and the spherical surface. The distance between two images when viewed along the axis from the sides of the hemisphere is, these four options are given. The object is placed midway between the two sides. We have to find the distance between two images when viewed along the axis from the sides of the hemisphere. Let us first say that it is being viewed from this side. right? So, if it is being viewed from this side, we apply refraction, the concept of refraction at a spherical surface again. Q will be minus 8 centimeter because this is 16 centimeter, this distance is 8 centimeter. Mu 1 is 1.5, mu 2 is 1 and r is minus 16 centimeter. So, we get 1 by v 1 minus mu 2 by v minus mu 1 by u. 1.5 by minus 8 is equal to 1 minus 1.5 mu 2 minus mu 1 upon minus 16 or this is simply equal to 1 upon 32 and 1 by v1 turns out to be 1 by 32 minus 1.5 by 8 which we can further say if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 we get it as 1 by 32 minus 6 by 32 or simply minus 5 by 32. So, V 1 is minus 32 by 5 centimeter. That means when viewed from this side, the image forms somewhere here and this distance turns out to be 32 by 5 centimeter. If it is viewed from this side, because the surface is a plane surface, we can apply mu is equal to real depth by apparent depth, which means 8 centimeter by the apparent depth let us call it x is equal to mu which is 1.5 or x is equal to 8 by 1.5 or 8 by 3 by 2 or 16 by 3 centimeter. Right? So, the other image is forming somewhere here. We have to find the distance between the two images. So, the distance between the two images is equal to, let us call it d, is equal to the radius which is 16 centimeter minus 32 by 5 plus 16 by 3. And if we solve it further, we will find it comes out to be 64 by 15 centimeter, which matches with option C. So, option C is correct. Let us go to the next question now. Question 15 says a uniform non conducting ring of mass m and total charge q uniformly distributed is placed in a region where a constant magnetic field B exists perpendicular to the plane of the ring as shown in figure. Field distribution is symmetrical about the center of the ring and ring is free to rotate about its own axis. Now, if suddenly magnetic field is switched off, then find the angular speed with which the ring would rotate. Well, this problem involves concepts of electromagnetic induction, the angular impulse and the theorem that angular impulse equals change in angular momentum. To find the expression for electric field, we can write E into 2 pi r 
where E is the induced electric field, E into 2 pi r equals pi r square dv by dt, dv by dt here is b upon delta t because the magnetic field has become 0 from initial value b. This gives us E is equal to R B by 2 delta T. Okay. Now, the angular impulse J is torque multiplied by the time for which it has acted. The torque is electric field multiplied by Q into R and this into delta t is the angular impulse. If I put the value of E, we get J equals R B upon 2 delta t multiplied by Q R delta t and this is the angular impulse. This is also equal to change in angular momentum and the change in angular momentum is m r square into omega. If we solve delta t delta t cancels, r square also cancels, we get omega is equal to q b by 2 m which matches with option d, so option d is correct. Let us go to the next question now.